Hey folks, Justin here with MOBA. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the MTP-1000 and the MTP-2000. These are motorized time-lapse tripod heads. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look inside the box, see what they come with, and then I'll set them up and I'll use them with a couple cameras. That way you know what to expect when you get one. Real quick before we take a look inside the box, the difference between the two. Um, when you look inside, they're gonna look pretty similar. You're gonna get the same thing. The difference is the device itself. The MTP-1000 will rotate 360 degrees in 60 minutes, whereas the MTP-2000 will rotate 360 degrees in 120 minutes. So you just need to consider what you're filming and um, the duration of the content that you want to capture and speed up with your time lapse. Now you might be thinking, well, I can just change the speed a little bit inside my, uh, my, my editing software on my phone and I can get the exact time that I want. Well, that's true and you can maybe double, triple, quadruple the time, whatever it is that you wanna do um, with your time lapse, up to you and, and what you're trying to go for. Now consider this though, if you are filming a sunset, that might be a different time than say the building of some project or a sporting event that lasts about two hours or 120 minutes. So just think about those types of things and if you want a full 360 degree rotation within a certain amount of time, or are you only going to capture 180 degrees or half of that or a quarter of that? And what amount of time um, will it take to, to capture that? There are a couple settings that we can change on here as well, um, but keep those things in mind when you're selecting the 1000 over the 2000. Now let's go ahead and open up the 2000 and see what comes inside the box. Um, first up, we have our happy, not happy comment card. Let you know how to reach out to MOBO if you have any questions or concerns. Then we're going to have a manual. This manual on one side will have the MTP 2000 and on the other will have the MTP 1000. So just make sure you're looking at the right side there. Uh, it has all the specifications, how to set up and use the device. So if you have any questions, definitely refer to that. Next up, we have an adapter for a GoPro or an action camera. If you don't already have one of these, fantastic piece to have that you can use with this or other devices too, um, but definitely handy if, if you're going that route. Now inside we have this bag here, and as this comes out, there's a couple things. One, we have the adapter or the mounts, the bracket, that we will use for a smartphone. We'll get to that more here in a moment. And then we have the device itself. Now, on the device, you'll note that there's a three quarter inch um, thread on top for mounting any standard um, camera mount or cell phone mount or anything that you have. Most of them are going to be a quarter inch. Um, now, when we attach that to a tripod, on the bottom, there is a quarter inch thread here as well. Now, if you, you look in there, you'll notice that there's a little notch and that notch is because there's an adapter. So if you unscrew that, it's actually gonna be a three eighths um, thread. So that'll allow you to use those larger tripod um, threads if, if that's what you have. So definitely a plus that it comes with the adapter so you can go either route. Um, I'm here uh, going to be using our MVT1 from Movo. This is a fantastic compact tripod that you can use in a number of situations. One of those is here today. So let's go ahead and set this up and show you examples of how you can use your MTP1000 or MTP2000. Here I have hooked up the Canon 70D to my MTP 2000. Um, the difference between this and the MTP 1000 that I just talked about can be noticed with the markings here. Um, for instance, it says 45 minutes at 270 degrees or 60 minutes at 360 um, or 30 at 180 and so on. So 30 minutes for 180 degrees on the MTP uh, 1000 would be um, 60 minutes for 180 degrees on the MTP 2000. So just something to keep in mind. Um, you can also double the speed if you take two MTP 1000s and stack them on top of each other, or if you take three and stack them, you can, you can speed it up even more. So definitely fun to play with these and test them out um, before you get to your shoot. That way you're comfortable with using the gear as with all devices. You also want to play around with where your, your lens is position if you're using the smartphone mount. Here this is my Pixel 2 that I have um, on the MTP 1000. Um, if I wanted to have it perfectly centered, that means my phone would be over just a little bit more and the lens would actually pop 
pop out right between these two bars here. So it's nice that you have this kind of a mount to use, so it allows you to position the lens exactly where you want it. It'll still work off to the side one way or another, it will just change the perspective a little bit. So keep that in mind, test out your gear before you're, you're ready to shoot. What I'm gonna do is hook up, um, or they're already hooked up, I'm just gonna take them out and use both the MTP2000 with my Canon 70D and the MTP1000 with my Pixel 2 here and give you an idea of how you could set up and use both of these devices when you get your own. And there you have it, the MTP-1000 and the MTP-2000. Now, keep in mind, depending on your camera or your smartphone that you're using, your results may vary. Um, I do hope this video gave you a better idea though of what to expect when you get the MTP-1000 or 2000 and some ideas on how you can use it. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. We love hearing from y'all here at Movo. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.